This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So I also watched a very disheartening interview with Bob Arum on IFL TV. Nothing to do with IFL or Andrew McCart. Nothing to do with the way the, that the interview was conducted, not at all. It's just like it's disheartening when I'm hearing Bob Arum say how they're not even trying to negotiate with Deontay Wilder. He was asked, is the figure correct of $20 million? And Bob Arum kind of didn't really say yes and he didn't really say no either. He was just saying that he didn't really know what the number was, but what he was aware of was that it was a preposterous amount of money. Okay, so clearly just on that bit there, they did ask for some kind of money, as in Team Wilder, or at least um, Deontay Wilder himself did. Now, the number that was thrown around is $20 million. And the reason that we say $20 million is because Tyson Fury said it himself. Yeah, sure, Tyson Fury is a blagger. Okay, Tyson Fury is a liar. He's a perpetual liar. So can we take that figure for gospel? No, but that's the only number that we can come out with because nobody else has said any kind of number. And I know the Wild Debts of Twerk Army, they're saying how Wilder, he's refusing to take any kind of step of money. He wants retribution and no, he doesn't want any kind of step aside money. Why? Because Manny Scott said that, what, um, Deontay Wilder's new trainer or head trainer, promote trainer even. But it hasn't even occurred to them really that the reason that maybe Manny Scott, Team Wilder are saying that they're not taking any kind of step aside money is because Fury refused to pay it. It hasn't occurred to them that that's even a possibility. Not at all. Anyway, now the way I see it is that if it is $20 million, I don't know why he's not paying it. Okay, it could be a case if he doesn't have $20 million right now. Well, I'm sure he could get a loan for it, as in speak to the Saudis, get an advance, or have a word with Eddie Hearn. Get an advance, have a word with Frank Warren and Bob Arum. Start a GoFundMe, okay? But in this scenario, sure, $20 million is stupid amounts of money. Wild is not worth $20 million. Absolutely agree with that. Totally 100% agree with that. But... He's going to be giving Wilder a payday anyway. But also, when you've got an opportunity to fight for Undisputed, for the amount of money that Tyson Fury could make against Anthony Joshua, especially if he beats Joshua, imagine how much money he's going to make in the rematch as well. Where he can earn, there are thereabouts, $100 million for the first fight, and maybe same again for the rematch, maybe even more, as if he beats Joshua, he gets a 60% cut anyway. So in this scenario... He's pretty much stepping over pounds and dollars to pick up pennies. I can only put this down to one thing. He's scared. All this talk for years and years now, how Anthony Joshua, he's a, just a bodybuilder, he's a big stiff idiot, I'll beat with one hand tied behind my back, I don't have to train to beat him. Well, time to prove it, and his ass went. That's the only way I could possibly put it. Tyson Fury, he says how he don't care about money, he's a Spartan. Anthony Joshua is the businessman. Right, okay, so you're so much of a Spartan that, and you don't care about money that you're refusing to pay off Wilder in order to go make several times more against Anthony Joshua. Not only that, you're throwing your reputation into the dirt because very few people believe Tyson Fury didn't set this whole thing up. And I know, yes, there are some people out there, some Tyson Fury fanatics, who are kind of almost celebrating with the fact that he managed to con the boxing world. Oh, he's such a genius. You're an idiot. If you really believe that, you're an idiot. Much like the likes of, I see John O'Carroll laughing about it. John O'Carroll, get your beard shaved and shut your mouth. All right, because you're an idiot too. How can Fury look at that and say, well, 20 million, sure, that's more than what Wilder is entitled to. After everything that he said about me, I want to beat him up. I don't want to give him a payday. Well, you are going to give him a payday by finding him for a third time. It's not difficult to work out. Too many times I think that we've given Tartan Fury a pass, how he says how he doesn't want to fight in the UK because he doesn't feel appreciated in the UK, so he's going to fight in America where he's more appreciated. Okay, so you turn your back on the UK fans. You know what? We give him a pass on it, right? He says how the first purse from the Deontay Wilder fight was it six or seven million dollars, whatever it was. He was going to give it all to charity. Did he bollocks? Did he bollocks? But you know what? We let it slide. And so many things that Tyson Fury says and does, we let it slide. But this is the kind of situation where we are lied to by Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury 
could, he's the one that has the power right now to actually pull his finger out of his ass and actually confirm to the world that he wants the Anthony Joshua fight by proving it. Because all the way through the negotiations with Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn is, has been the only one who's been doing any kind of legwork. He's been the one trying to get the fight over the line. From the entire Tyson Fury team, they've been the backseat drivers. They've been heckling and critical and moaning and negative about every little thing. Every little thing. And this is the opportunity where Tyson Fury can prove it. Sure, he's going to be 20 million out of pocket for a while. But he's going to get a whole ton more. Because what happens if Tyson Fury loses? What happens? Now, granted, it's unlikely that he's going to lose to Deontay Wilder. It's still possible, though. What happens if he loses? Well, this big super fight of Anthony Joshua for $100 million, twice over, is gone. What happens if Anthony Joshua loses to Usyk? Again, that kind of money is gone. I don't think Fury realises all this. And even if uh, Fury wins, even if Joshua wins, and they set it up for November or December, well, who's to say that the Saudis are going to be offering that amount of money again? Maybe they're not. So maybe that kind of money that's on the table right now isn't going to be there. He says that he's a Spartan, he don't care about money. Right, okay. So not only are you, or do you have an opportunity to fight Anthony Joshua, a so-called easy fight, where he says that Deontay Wilder is the second best heavyweight out there and Wilder beats Joshua and all this kind of stuff. So you'd rather go fight that guy than an easier fight against Anthony Joshua for undisputed, for untold riches. I mean, talk about trying to save pennies rather than collect gold, dollars, and legacy. This, is, this whole thing is just one complete lie. I know some Fury fans are still in denial about it. Okay, that's fine. You're entitled to back your guy. You don't like what it is I'm saying? Oh, hard cheese. That's a true fit. Hard luck. I don't want to be saying these things about Tyson Fury either, but I've been conned. He's conned you too. He's lied to me. He's lied to you too. And, and what are we going to do? Just roll over and accept it? This is all business for Tyson Fury. In a sense. He's been using Anthony Joshua's name for clout. That's why he's been out there on Instagram trying to shift off as much merchandise as he possibly can because there's enough people out there who are willing to buy his merchandise because they thought he was going to be, going to be fighting Anthony Joshua and spewed. They were going to buy his merchandise, sit there in the Gypsy King t-shirt and watch him fight Anthony Joshua in the hope that he beats Joshua. I wonder how many sales that he made during the last several weeks. Quite a lot, I would imagine. Quite a lot. And even now and today, he's still trying to push it out on his Instagram. But his sales aren't doing half as well now, are they? Not even close. He's let himself down. He's let the boxing world down. He's let everybody down. And he just doesn't realise it. He just doesn't realise it. How people are looking at him right now. Does he care? I think he does. He's an emotional man. I think he does care. But is he going to do anything about it? I doubt it. I'd love him to uh, prove me wrong. I'd love him to prove the boxing world wrong. But unfortunately, that's how it is. I don't think he's a very smart man at all. You don't want to give somebody $20 million so you can uh, go earn $100 million twice over. You'd rather risk that. You're a damn fool. Damn fool. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you on the next video.